Hi guys, so let's have a look at part two of our stationary project. That is office stationary, not standing in one place. <laughs> Letters, business cards and thank you receipts. So let's start with the letterhead this time. Now using a custom letterhead featuring your company logo and brand colours lends a sleek professional look to your company letters. When designing it's important to leave a good amount of white space for the content of the letter and to use a logo design that's not too overstated or distracting. We're aiming for a letterhead design that's simple, striking and elegant. Now we'll get straight into document setup with this. This is straight from the Affinity Publisher workbook. So if you haven't got it, that's all right. Um, the resources used you can download either from Affinity or from my website where I've put a copy of them for you. Now we use the document setup in the business cards, but in this time we're going to use the A4. So when you select new, my mouse pointer is disappearing, there we go, press ready, press ready, and we've got A4, there we go, the A4 document, the A4 preset, but we want to make a few changes, we don't need to change the size or that, prefer linked, I, I do actually prefer embedded, but let's use linked, the number of pages is only one, we're only using one page. We don't want facing pages because it's just one and there's no master page. There's no default master, you see. The colours are CMYK because it's going to a printer. Now, interestingly, an A4 page is a standard size page. They may or may not be printing them in sheets, but I suspect for a letterhead, um, you don't really need to worry about bleed because I'll use standard A4 pages. Now we're going to include margins because this keeps your setting out very neat and you can see at a glance where your margins are and they're 25 millimeters all the way around. Are we going to have bleed? Well there's no harm in putting bleed in. There's three millimeter bleed. That's fine. Um, we'll leave it there but you won't probably need it but we'll use this for some of the colours and the graphics and we'll go right up to the edge. Now let's create that. Just takes a moment and up it comes. Now again, you can see we've got no master page and we've got one page that our document's going to go on. Now the blue you can very faintly see around there is the bleed line. Again, I'm going to go into Document Setup, go to Bleed, and I'm going to change that colour to red. It's much easier to see. Well, it certainly is for my eyes. I don't know about yours. And there you can now see the red bleed line all the way around. So you could, in fact, have a graphics image that goes right to the edge. And if you take it out to the bleed line, it will only print up to the edge of your safe area. The margins of course don't print but this allows you to position elements within your document very neatly. So let's begin by adding address details. With the frame text tool active, that's that one over there, frame text tool, you can see that left hand side, that's active. Now we're going to set the font and up here we've got Arial, and we're going to use that font that we loaded in, A, B, C, H, I, V, O. That's it. Now we want bold. Give the company name a bold style. So we've got out, we're going to put that right there. You can see the, the results of the margin. Now 
Let's put that about there. Now we may want it a little bit bigger than 12. Let's make it 14. And C-O-K-O-E-S-T-N-E-R, K-O-E-S-T-N-E-R, Costner, B-R-O-W-N-E, A-R-C-H-I-T-E-C-T-S, Costner Brown Architects. Now don't press the return key, press, press shift return. And we don't want the second line bold, we want the second line regular. So we can change that to regular. One, W-I-L-F-O-R-D, Wilford, rise, comma, shift, enter. Nottingham, N, G, 37, 1, A, D. Now we just leave that sit there and we can probably squeeze that up a little bit because we don't want it quite that big. Squeeze that in a little bit, 66, 7, 8, 9, there we go. Ah, okay, now see down the bottom right hand corner here the width of that box. I want that 66, so put in 0. Now 15.7, which is a silly number, let's make that 16. There we go, so that frame text size is now set exactly to the size we want it. Now place the company logo. We've got to place the company logo in that left hand side. So we need to move by selecting the move tool on the left hand side, move tool, we're going to move that for the time being. Let's just put it in the center for the time being because now we go back, click anywhere so you deselect it. Now go to file and place. We're going to place the company logo in there. File and place. There it is, KBA stationery. I should have done this alphabetically. Never mind, it takes a moment. But that's a good example because I just downloaded and dumped it in the download directory. It does take a bit of finding. Now, using the KBA Logos AF design, that's that there. Now, this is a file that contains, I think it's about 27 artboards. Select the artboard called KBA Logo Blue and Green from the context toolbar once placed. So we select that, we open that. Now we put that there, hold the command key down and drag that out and select the document from here. It doesn't matter what it first drags out because what we want is KBA logo blue and green. KBA logo blue and green. Not green and blue, KBA logo blue and green. And there it is there. Now we can drag that to there and put that there. Now hold the command key down again and drag that out and it expands it proportionally. Now we've got that slightly larger than that, which is just what we want. We can go to there and bring that across so it's just not quite, it's the size of the blue dot there away from the KBA. And it's about the right size. There we go. Move the logo so it snaps in alignment with the top of the address text frame. And there we go. Now this is the advantage of having those margins there because it allows you to very easily um, set up your document. So that's the top bit done. 
replacing the company logo. Let's have a look at the next part in the book. Now we're going to add footer logos. For the letterhead's footer section, let's introduce another company branded logo. A flat blue colour version of the already placed KBA logo plus a third party RPA logo as a PNG file. Adding a secondary logo. Go to File and Place. Using the KBA logos AF design and that's the one we want. Open that. And we're going to place that down the bottom again. Hold the command key down, command or control in Windows I think. And just put that there. Now that's not the one we want. What we want is the artboard called KBA Logo Blue. Up the top here. KBA Logo, KBA Logo Blue. There we go. And it puts it in there. Now we're going to hold the control key down, enlarge it slightly so we can actually see it. I want to place that down there on the bottom margin. You can see that's on the bottom margin there. Now add a third party graphic. We're going to put a graphics image beside that. I'll just deselect that for the moment. File. Place RPA logo PNG RPA logo PNG Place that I know the computer's being remarkably slow this morning because I've got something else fairly intensive happening at the same time Now there we go, holding the control key down I want to bring that out to about that side. Now I'm going to move it over so it's in line with that. Then I'm going to move this over, hold the control key, command key, and enlarge it. That's about where I want it, about halfway up there, about halfway there. Control Z, I don't want to move that too far. Hold the command key down and enlarge that slightly. Just slightly. Bring the whole thing down. There we go. Now you can see the red centre line has put that dead centre. And it's aligned with the right hand margin. The green line has come up. Perfect. Now, that's perfect. That's just where we want it. Now, applying brand colours to third-party graphics, it's likely that introducing the third-party graphic, which is that one, select the place third-party graphic. It will clash with your brand colours. You can recolor their logo to keep colours on brand. To import a palette as document palette. There we are, that's back where I saved them, KBA Stationery and the KBA Global Swatches Palette. Open that up. And there it is there. So the swatches come in there and the colour overlay, layer effects, what we've got to do is select that and that's layer effects. That's that button there, layer effects. That puts that one there. Now, color overlay. We're going to change the black to blue. We want lighter mode, lighter color. The blend is lighter color. And don't go to the swatches panel here. Go here, Global Swatches, KBA Global Swatches. Did you see that? Right at the top of the list and it took me five minutes to find it. Okay, there we go. Click on the blue. 
and that's changed it to blue. It just didn't want to do it there for a moment. Loads that. Now let's expand that a little. And you can see, whoops, the wrong way. You can see that's now blue. And that's what we want. That took some doing, didn't it? Let me step you through that again. Go to that layer. Select FX. Select Color Overlay. Select the Blend Mode is Lighter Color. Select the Color from the Color Swatch. Now, of course, if you like, now that we've got that selected, let's try that. And it changes it to a green, which is not what you want. You want it blue to match the one next to it. And that's how you do it. Close and finish. Now, let's reduce that back down here. And that looks like your letterhead. File export PDF for print 300 don't include the bleed preview export when complete export now we should get a preview of the document any moment I'm just going to save it to downloads as letterhead there we go as I said, this computer is really busy doing something else at the moment as well. So it's just taking a little bit of time to load. Now there's our, there's our letterhead document. Let's reduce that in size so you can see it. There's your document with letterhead. And in there you can put, dear sir, dear madam, whatever you'd like. Now if you don't want those lined up on the margins and you can see the margins don't print then just set your, set your margins to maybe half of that space that they're set to and really that's all there is to it so thanks for watching